This video is sponsored by Lenovo. We're in another lockdown in the UK, so I always have my mask with me. Um, I want to talk to you about data sets and where to find good data sets when you're learning how to do data science and machine learning for the first time because you want to get on with it but sometimes it can be something that stops you progressing because you can't find decent data now sometimes the most exciting data is the data that you create yourself you know i don't know whether you've got a weather station and you collect that data yourself or some kind of web server log or some kind of data that motivates you but if you don't have that and most people don't have that you can find some really interesting data sets in all sorts of places and so in this video I want to give you a few at least five maybe more depending on how we're doing for time data sets that I think are going to be really useful for you I've got them in my phone let me just okay so here we go data set number one and you've probably seen this one but if you haven't um, it's very useful that's data.gov now this is the US government data collection there are lots of US government agencies that contribute to this data set and you can find a lot of data that you might be interested in there there's the EU open data portal um, that might be of interest to you and that's got all sorts of stuff it's got information on science the environment the economy uh, there's a lot to go on there what else is there yes the WHO especially if you're interested in what's going on with COVID-19 and health data uh, go and take a look at the WHO data set I think you'll like that incidentally all of the uh, all of the links I'm mentioning here are also in the description Kaggle now I'm sure you've already seen some Kaggle data sets there are so many different data sets on Kaggle that I really think you might like there's the Titanic data set which we've talked about before and I made a little video about the Titanic so go and take a look at that I think you'll like it the link to that is in the description too but there are lots of other data sets on Kaggle there are just so many and I'm sure you'll find one that will interest you the thing about the Kaggle data sets though is that they're all cleaned for you and really it's unusual to have data that's nice and clean for you and part of learning how to do all of this is learning how to clean your own data so although Kaggle's interesting and you can learn a lot from Kaggle there's a lot to be said for getting other types of data as well that data that you have to clean I just want to take a moment to thank our sponsor Linode now Linode provides virtual servers that let you share your creations with the world you can use Linode to host things like your own Jupyter Notebook. You could also host your own blog or development project, fire up your own VPN, game server, and much more. Linode has multiple server plans to make any app or service flexible and scalable. They have simple one-click apps to get you started and 24-7, 365 day support available by phone or ticket, so you can get help when you need it. And right now, because you're watching this channel, you can get started on Linode with a $100 credit by going to linode.com forward slash Python programmer. And the link is in the description. Johns Hopkins uh, data on the coronavirus is really good. And if you collect data from maybe Johns Hopkins and also uh, the WHO you can have you know you can practice merging those data sets because they contain different information what else oh, there's Quandle if you're interested in financial data and economic data um, and also on that same subject there's the World Bank open data set that you can have a look at and of course that's you know financial and economic stuff so go and take a look at that and then there's the really famous UCI machine learning repository and there's loads of fascinating and interesting data sets there some of them are quite old but they're very useful collecting your own data is always very interesting as well and you learn various different skills either web scraping or using for example the Twitter API or the YouTube API so have a look at that as well but practice finding data that interests you what are you interested in if it's films then there's the internet movie database or if it's books I'm sure you can find some data sets on, on books so whatever you're interested in there will be a data set somewhere that has information on that topic so go ahead find some data that really interests you download it and play with it and see what you can learn from it it's great practice I'll see you next time